and I'm really sorry for her. Um, the Empress and the Chariot. It's kind of in the way of her moving forward. Every time she Everyone, welcome back to another like tarot. This is a video dedicated to hot topics through a tarot perspective. Now, today this video was requested. I'm going to do Lori Harvey's love life. As I always say, it's intuitive based, it's not fact based, so please don't treat it as like true or false. This is what we can learn from the situation, and it's not that serious. Okay, so her chart I couldn't find her rising, but her sun is in Capricorn, her moon is in Pisces. Very, very interesting. I've pre-pulled her cards and I'll shuffle to clarify as I go along but I want to do it a little differently if you've watched my Shawn Mendes video I'm doing it very similar to that where I pulled her relationships and it's, it's very interesting I can see that her moon is in Pisces for sure so I pulled her intentions right now in the relationship she's in with Michael B. Jordan and I got Nine of Swords Queen of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. So I have a strong feeling when I pull these cards that she has like a some healing that she needs to do from her childhood. Um I think she has abandonment issues from her dad. I can see that very strongly. It's a fatherly figure that she never really got over. So with the Empress and the Chariot, and I'm really sorry for her. Um the Empress and the Chariot, it's kind of in the way of her moving forward. Every time she moves forward, she's like, okay, I'm going to make this. It's kind of like she self sabotages. I can definitely, definitely relate. I used to self sabotage relationships I was in <laughs> because I had, well, my parents got a divorce, my dad left, and I felt this like inner emptiness that I can never resolve and I feel like forgiveness really helped me out big time and seeing it from a different perspective you know I used to take on the anger of my mother and I saw that I had been kind of coaxed to do that to do that by my mother but also it's not my place to involve me in their situation like they had a relationship separate to the one that I had with my dad and I feel like children find it hard to separate themselves, especially children of divorce find it hard to separate themselves from their mothers and they take on that anger and I did too and then relationships would be angry at men so I would recommend forgiving and releasing that from her past so then I pulled on <coughs> and I pulled up her present like how she feels about the present relationship she's in and eight of pentacles like how it's going eight of pentacles ace of cups eight of cups so <clears throat> i did see and i'm going to put a card in the video that i don't see it lasting because she's not really there to be around and it's kind of like michael b jordan's karma for how he treated people before you know we all have our karma whether it's good or bad but his she's not really she's in it but not as much as he is and i recommend looking at the other video because i go into like full explanations of why i believe that with the hierophant and queen of swords it's almost like she is afraid to be happy oh gosh so with the future queen of wands I, I can relate you know i think a lot of us our deepest fears like i'm happy and then something takes it away from us especially children of divorce we don't acknowledge that we don't talk about it enough i feel but you know when we talk about how people go through divorce we mention the adults but we forget that it creates trauma in children and i think a lot of parents kind of under underestimate the kind of trauma and damage it can do to children especially as they get older so queen of wands the fool and king of pentacles so as she moves forward this is the future as she moves forward she is going to be like she i think was raised to think that money it equates to love and i think it comes from both of her parents you know and also i feel like in hollywood there is that energy and she grew up in hollywood you know her stepfather is steve harvey so probably ever since she was a kid 
she's been raised around a lot of people who have money and they have this and they have that and they have the bands and they, but they can't replace true healing that's why a lot of people in the limelight don't really heal and they have broken relationships because it starts with them but they're never really honest with themselves so it's knight of cups and knight of wands she's going to have to get honest with herself because the next person she ends up dating is going to be kind of like a player and will be her karma so i pulled a card for healing and i got let your authentic humanity shine forth while also bowing to the inner divine you can become fluent in at doing both so i do recommend to focus so she focuses anybody else going in the situation going through the situation that she focuses on this she focuses on healing she focuses on internal work because right now it's very external and capricorn sun and capricorns can very much be like that but and with moon of pisces she runs from her feelings so it's time to face them to face her feelings to face her past and to deal with it because it's going to keep following her from one relationship to the next so i love you all please comment below let me know what you think please subscribe if you're not subscribed and like the video if you want to share it to somebody who would appreciate it i would appreciate it so much take care